والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. Give you 24 hours and it's totally free. Jazakallah khair. Okay, let's get back to some of these questions. Brother Ahmed from Qatar, Sheikh. Um, speaking about the beard, he says that uh, can the beard be trimmed? And he's saying something about the sides that it's, uh, he doesn't really like it. I use the word unsuitable here. He uses a different word. Yeah. Um, uh, what do we do? Are we allowed to trim our beards if we don't like the way they look, Sheikh? I just like to remind the questioner that the word which was used is not uh, befitting, is not proper because. Uh, uh, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept his beard, grew long, and he did not trim it. Mm-hmm. As far as the issue of trimming the beard was adopted by some of the scholars based on a view of Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, that he used to do uh, that uh, during Hajj, but uh, trim it in a way that uh, it should not be lesser than the length of one of his fists, so he would hold his beard and, and do that. So the scholars who... Uh, Adopted this opinion, they said this is the action of one of the great companions of the Prophet ﷺ. And of course, according to the principles of fiqh, they use this as a valid reference. But the opinion of the vast majority, of course, is according to the hadith, is saving the beard and it does not deal with trimming at all.